Those panels will slide. Welcome back, monkeys, to how to install a small slide rail system. If you haven't seen part one, there's a link in the top corner and go check it out first. So we'll get started with bashing in these pillars in the corners. We're just uh, moving these down along with the slide panels that we've installed. The upper panels are in place, so we're just going to start digging our way down and beating stuff into the ground slowly. So these pillars are, don't have to go in all the way to the bottom of the dig. We'll beat them in as we do our digs. So that way they're being held in place by the walls. So at this point, all the material that I'm going to pull out of the hole is going to go around the shoring. This is going to back the, the plates and what it's going to do is help hold them in place. By pushing material up against them, it's going to secure them in place so they don't slide down as we dig. Now we're close enough we can start putting those other panels in. So here at this point, these are the inner panels that are going to go on the inside. These are the lower ones. We have multiple panels that are going to go in because we're going to be 16 feet in this hole. Now I mentioned this in the previous video. These plates on steel forks or even on the ground on top of each other, these things are extremely slippery and will slide off and hurt you. So you need to be sure that you're staying far enough away that if this thing should slide away that you're not going to get caught in the way. So these Don't inner panels are known as the, the slide panels. If you look at the edge of them, you'll see that they have a no, no, recess oh, and a, an outer edge. And the outer edge you want on the outside and the reduced side you want on the inside. And that's going to go up against the beams and prevent it from falling in and still allow it to slide inside of the outer panels. side than the other. big boss man he's starting to wave his arm to drop it it is not in a state that it's actually captured until it gets in next to the bottom plate once it's there then you can drop it and it's not gonna fall away along with your shoring you should receive a great box full of all the supplies and everything you need to assemble the Good. shoring system along with chains couplers and anything yes. else required to complete the installation. So these bits that you see us unloading here are the parts that are going to couple the upper slide panel to the lower slide panel. And so the reason that you're going to need to have those couplers 
is because this panel that's going in here is the lower slide panel. It will eventually drop below these stabilized upper outer oh, panels. And oh, what will happen oh. is if you drop them below, you'll never be able to get them out from underneath the stabilized panels. So now that all the panels are installed on the inner ones, I can now continue to dig and remove material and build up the outside, bringing it up to the elevation that I need. And as we dig down, we'll also be pushing the pilings down to make sure that everything stays stable down to depth. digging into the shores is you don't want to undermine the one that's closest to yourself because creating a hole behind these panels will create problem problems later on and even possible collapse of the material that is on the outside of the shore. And as you're digging, you're going to want to make sure that you're pushing these panels down a little bit at a time and making sure that they're sunk into the ground and not having materials slide out from behind the panels. You only want to go just a little bit deeper than the panel itself and then push the panel back into the ground creating a barrier preventing any material from sliding into the hole. Now as you're doing this you don't need to bash these things in. They should only move as far as they want to move. If you're trying to force them in, you're gonna cause more problems than you wanna deal with. So just push them down until they don't wanna move anymore and then continue digging. Now depending on your bucket and whether it can open all the way open or not when you're digging in these holes, you might need to turn your bucket around backwards if it's available so that way you can get all the way against the far wall. Now that we're deep enough, we're going to start putting the upper inner panels in place and tying them to the lower inner panel. So here you can see that the two shackles are in place and all they are are twist pins. It's an insert and a 45 degree turn, or sorry, 90 degree turn.
got to put pins in it. Well, yeah, no, but oh, not yet. Don't unhook me until we get the pins in it. You might have to pick it up the window. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a problem. We would have just stacked the dirt on that side. Right. We need actor. rest of the three panels it's just a rinse and repeat so once you get it hooked up you can also shove them down if they're ready to be shoved down and now that they're coupled together the lower one is not going to fall behind the upper outer panel and get stuck make sure hey Hector it's got a fat side and a thin side make sure the fat sides this way okay. the fat side Hey, out of the way, you're in my way, bud. So doing this the way we're doing this by dropping the panel into the coupler, it's not the best way to do it, but what we're doing is we'll find a little bit better way to do it is the best way to do it is drop it into the coupler just above it and then they just pick it up an inch or so and then put the coupler pin in and twist and lock it. Get your foot out of there. Pick the coupler up a little bit and put the pin into it. So this is the install of the last inner panel that we're doing. And this is all we're installing. So after this, we'll continue to dig and push the pillars in a little bit deeper until we're all the way down to depth. And right here, we've got a keep going, truck keep going, showing keep going, up keep with going. our manhole material that we will be installing. Good. And I will be making the next video about the unloading, inspection, and install of that material. this is the end of the video guys thanks for hanging in there watching the whole thing and make sure to hit that like button subscribe and throw a comment down below what one? you thought of this process and always remember keep your butt level and your ditch straight see you guys next time